Welcome to Satish Science Teacher YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the book back evaluations from Standard 7 Term 3 Social Science under the Social Science Civics Unit 1 Woman Empowerment. If you are tuning first time in this YouTube channel, please do subscribe and do share with your friends and do some comments also. That is always welcome. And don't skip in between anything in this video because this video carries a lot of information about the woman empowerment because this lesson also deals about the the first woman achievers in the world in the various field also so this is a very very important video so don't skip in between it and if you are not yet subscribed but keep watching please this is the time for subscribe okay let's see the book evaluations from this lesson this lesson carries a lot of information about the gender bias you see the first Indian woman, the first in India woman, the first woman's university, Maharishi Karbal starts SNDT University. First woman to hold a union cabinet post, Vijay Lakshmi Pandit. First woman to be hold union foreign ministry post, Sushma Sparaj. First woman youngest minister of state, Sushma Sparaj. First woman governor of independent Indira, India, Sarojini Naidu. First woman president of UN General Assembly, Vijay Lakshmi Pandit. First woman Prime Minister of India Indira Gandhi, first woman IPS Kiran Bedi, first woman to win Nobel Prize Mother Teresa for Peace, first Indian woman to climb Mount Everest Pachindri Paul, first Indian woman to win the Booker Prize Arundhati Rai, first woman President Pratibha Patil, first woman Speaker Meera Bai, first woman Judge in Supreme Court Meera Sahib Fatima Bibi, first woman President of India National Congress is Annie Besant, first woman Chief Minister of Indian State is Suchitra Kriplani, first woman Director of General of Police, that is DGP, is Kanchan Chaudhary Bhattacharya, and the first woman Defense Minister of India, the Nirmala Sita Raman, first woman Finance Minister of India is also Nirmala Sita Raman. So, this is very, very important because most of the general awareness courses are asking from this section. Okay, okay, let's see the book of evaluations. Choose the correct answer, which is of which of the following is not an, a consequence of gender inequality. So, greater insecurity for men because that is why men are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be to do this. They are not going to be able to So, which, is the, which of the following is not a consequence of gender inequality? The greater insecurity for men. Gender equality is an issue that is relevant to all societies, women and men alike. Which of the following strategies will help women become more socially and economically empowered? Women working together to challenge discrimination, more income sources for women, improved access to education. So, all these three points are answered for this question. So, the answer is option D, all of the above. Why are girls more likely than boys to miss out on secondary education in the developing world? Because girls are expected to help out at home. So, that is the reason. And next one is to fill in the blanks. Jyotiru Pule is remembered as the champion of women's education in India. He, along with his wife, Savitri Bai Pule, opened the first school for girls in 1848. Sushma Swaraj is the first woman to hold a union foreign minister's post. Kanchan Chaudhary Bhattacharya is the first woman director general of police, that is DGP. Arundhati Rai is the first Indian woman to win the Booker Prize. And next is the match the following. So, Sri Mavu Bandara Nayaka, she is the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka and also she is the first woman to hold the Prime Minister post in the world. And second, Valentina Tereshkova, she is from United States of Soviet Russia. She is the first woman in space. Junko Tabi, Junko Tabi is from Japan country. She is the first woman lady to scale the Mount Everest. Charlotte Cooper, Charlotte Cooper who is from England. She is the first woman to win in the Olympic gold medal. Okay, so next one is consider the following statements. Now, new, now women are being integrated at all steps of humanitarian operations. Reason, women and girls suffer the most from any kind of conflict in the society. So both the assertion and reason are correct and true. And R is the correct explanation of A. Second question. Violence against women cuts across caste, class, religion, age and even education. 
race and domestic violence is manifested in the form of food feticide feticide na karuvile kondigal alikapadrathu infanticide kondigalil kollapadrathu dowry murder varadachane kodumikaga saagadikirathu meritorial cruelty battering child abuse etc so both are such and reason are true but all is not the correct explanation of his correct answer okay that's all about this lessons one mark book evaluations so this is one of the very important lessons so please go through it again and again then only you will get the important points in your mind so thanks for listening students all the best for your examinations thank you